Hi, I'm Philip Miller, and this is Philip Miller Furniture. Thank you for tuning in. Today, we are going to be building a farmhouse bench, and I have the materials here on my garage floor. As you can see, I have three sets of wood, types of wood. I, they are, these right here are my two by sixes, and these are, right over here, are my two by fours. And this is the material that I'm going to be using to make the farmhouse bench. I'm going to take it over to my table saw now and trim it up, mill it down, uh, then I'm going to going to be making some cuts and then assembly and I'll show you that whole entire process as I take you through this tutorial on how to make a farmhouse bench. Okay, I'm going to cut the length of my boards. I decided I want my bench to be five feet long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure from the end all the way down here and find five feet, which is right here. All right, in order to make sure the legs are all equally the same height, I've clamped them together and I'm going to cut it with one complete cut. Okay, the cuts came out really well. They're really nice and even and clean. And so these are the two legs. Now I gotta cut and add the braces that's gonna hold the two together. So let me kind of show you what that's gonna look like. It's gonna, these are the legs, and then I'm adding another bracket that's gonna go on the top right here, and I'm gonna cut that next. Okay, what I'm gonna do now um, is I'm gonna run these through my table saw. Uh, because two by fours actually have a little bevel on them and I don't want that so I'm going to clean them up with this run it straight through this and it'll get nice and square on all the sides okay for the feet of the bench what I'm doing is I'm knocking out a 45 degree angle leaving about a half inch the way I did that is I took my square here I put it up and I've brought that little tick mark of the five to the very edge and just scored it and I'll do the same to the other side and that just gives your your feet a little bit more uh, of a unique design as it's sitting out there where it's being displayed. All right, as you can see, I've made the 45 degree angle cut, leaving a half inch below, giving it this nice little finish for the foot. All right, I'm gonna do the others and then I'll be done with that and move on to the next step. Okay, with woodworking, there's always something that you forget to account for. And I caught it when plenty of time. So these are the legs. I realized I need to take another inch and a half off because of these base feet that are going on to it. So it's a good time. I caught it now, but usually with any woodworking project, there's always something you forget to do. And this is just one of those examples. All right, another piece that I'm cutting is the center brace. Uh, this is gonna hold the pieces together. And it's also gonna be the brace underneath that um, the two braces that are going to attach to the bottom that are going to adhere to. I'm going to put a nice little 45 degree bevel on it just to kind of keep it nice and clean um, so it'll be an under bevel and I'll show you that in just a minute. Okay, I'm assembling the legs now. This is the top where the bench is going to attach to. I'm using screws. I'm going to sink them in right into this and then but before I do that I'm going to use some wood glue. The wood glue that I like to use is Type Bond 3. So I'm just gonna adhere this to the back side of this and then simply screw it in. All right, one of the legs is assembled as you can see here. I put screws in the bottom, countersunk, and the same up at the top. Now again, this is if, if this was the top of the bench, it would go like this and I'm just gonna screw it right in here and that's how it's gonna attach. Okay, the tabletop I'm assembling together. I've strategically placed a couple Craig jig holes to pull the boards together. Once it's all glued up, I'm gonna let this sit for about 12 hours and then I'm gonna attach it to the legs over there and then we'll be done. Is I'm going to stain this first before I attach the legs. Next I'm going to create, once it's all stained, I'm going to create the brace that goes from the uh, bottom of the leg to the middle of the seat. 
and then I'll paint all of that white and then assemble. require a little bit of sanding right here to be flush because this is the base um, so you're gonna have to sand it off just a little bit here to get it nice and uh, smooth and then down here you're gonna knock, knock it off you don't have to but it just looks a little nicer and then it'll be ready for painting okay so what I'm gonna do to attach the braces is I'm using um, my nail gun to do that uh, I do it because it's easier to uh, set up and installed and screwing. All right, so let me make sure I got the right one for the right spot. Looks like that one's that one, and this one goes over here, but let me double check all that. Okay, and square it off. Okay, that looks good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna glue it and then nail it in. To set the nails in, what I use is I use a, use this really nice tool, and it's a punch, nail punch. You just get the right one. I just put it in there. And I tap it in my hammer, and it makes it nice and flush, and gets right on in there. Um, highly recommend doing that. Otherwise, what happens is it sticks out like this um, because the nail gun at the angle can't get the hammer in all the way to put it flush in. So you always have to use a tool uh, to set it in all the way. Okay, the table's been complete. Here it is, sitting on my uh, workbench. And it, I'm really pleased with how it came out. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna put this video up on YouTube. And with below, you'll see all the materials and cut links and everything you need to make this. All right, hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thanks very much.